Cecilia, yeah. we're talking about the need to, to keep talking about tennis. Okay. That after the National Tennis League, we had the Governor's Cup, yeah. and we said more things should come maybe in January. And good, there's good news from the Niger Tennis Federation. Yeah, yeah, definitely. They've actually listed about 32 players for campaign mm -hmm. for the talking about the African ITF African Junior Championship uh, Zona Qualifiers. That's it's definitely going to be taking place in January. That's from 9th to 17th of January 2016. It's in Abuja, okay. Nigeria is hosting. Mm. So we have about 32 players that will be there. Of course, Inge McLeod, she is one of the, the players that will definitely be there. You have a Oyilo Mokodri, of course. Star she had player. to, yeah, of course, 13 mm -hmm. years old. She had to, you know, fly in and all that. So she is, of course, the best you have in Nigeria right now when it uh, comes to, you know, girls and all that in long tennis. Of course, you have so many countries participating in we having a Ghana, Togo, Benin, Cote d'Ivoire, Senegal, Mali and Gabon. And, Gabon. Mm. and of course you know that is actually the, the zona qualifier. So usually Nigeria in this particular tournament they won it in 2004. The mm. one that was also held in Abuja because it won in Togo Lumi this year. That's right. Nigeria also dominated mm. that. I think that's winning stats is actually helping you know the country to actually produce more stars, you know. We're just thinking of how these athletes can actually get to the bigger stage. Talking about after this uh, junior championship intermediate, they now have the senior uh, players. So if they get to that senior level and you're now having some of them getting into some of these major tournaments, That's talking right. about Governor's yeah. Cup where That's foreigners the just come and there, take yeah. it, then they definitely you know, players to actually uh, look forward to when that starts. Yeah, yeah surely. Yeah. Like I said, Austin, it's a foundation. That's right. That's where you really get them, you know, you discover and and the, the, players, yeah, the players with um, serious and real potentials with great upside as well too. So it's a good one for tennis players in Nigeria. Hopefully um, the time is enough for them to actually get ready, you know, and get prepared um, mm. for the tournament itself. Like I said, it's starting on the 9th of January. And this is December 25th already. So I'm thinking to myself, is that enough um, preparation Operation. time for these guys mm. to actually go mm. there and give and their come, best? Come, we'll even open on the, se on the 2nd of mm. January. Yes. So, so they just have joy for all, all of us here. Yeah. The they are, before that. They they are, are busy. Exactly. Yeah, busy. Yeah, exactly. We'll be busy. good there <laughs> two days to the competition. It gives us another opportunity <laughs> to talk tennis. We rarely do talk about yeah, tennis yeah, because yeah. we don't see what to talk about. So now they're giving us to talk tennis. We talked about the National League, we talked about the Governor's mm -hmm. Cup, now the African Junior Championship, the Arizona Qualifiers coming up. It's good for us, particularly with this one geared towards grassroots tennis development. It's lovely. And again, we'll stay with grassroots sports development. Let's go on this break. When we come back, a grassroots sports advocate will be joining us. But before he joins us, the Minister for Sports, Solomon Dalong, also believes for sports in this country to shine again, grassroots development is the way to go. Let's listen to and I'll come back. We'll stay with grassroots sports development. Sports this morning on Channel TV. Don't go anywhere. Stay. Well, my plans for sports, like generally I said, is famous to try to reconfigure this mindset that ministers are only ministers of a particular uh, event uh, in the industry, either of football or any of the dominant sports. One, secondly, is to ensure that we mobilize uh, corporate investors to put in more money in the development of sports. Thirdly, I intend to go for a radical talent search, and this will take us to grassroots sports. We are going to develop more interest on the development of uh, grassroots sports. And I think this will also require resuscitating schools' games from the various secondary schools, which uh, to now appears to be uh, non existent. When we have grassroots facilities, and activities, we will have talents at our disposal and we can harvest them. So if we have great talents uh, available, of course, our, it is going to be easy for us to build our own uh, sports structure. So grassroots sports and mobilization of uh, corporate investment is going to be my priority. So that's the Minister of Sports, Solomon Dalong, um, re-emphasizing the need for grassroots sports development in Nigeria. Uh, we've been saying we want a minister that will not just come and start focusing on just football. That football is a sport. Nigeria is a sporting country. We have a lot of sports. There's need to go back to the grassroots and look for talent and develop sports in the country. And he's saying 
is tenure. We'll look into that. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's going to be a fantastic one, you know. In that particular interview was at the Taekwondo tournament. That's right. You know, it, it shows that there's a minister who just wants to be mm. everywhere. Mm. Not just a football tournament, watching only the Super Eagles and all that, maybe under 17 and all. But he takes, he makes out time to actually attend other so to speak, though, should I use the word lesser sports? That's what I'm that's what I about. That <laughs> sport is sport. Is, there's no lesser they sport. Have others, other sports and all that. So he's not just focusing on football. Mm. So he feels if Taekwondo is having tournaments, I can't be there. If tennis is having tournaments, I will be there. Mm. And of course, if uh, every other sport, badminton. Bad, he's all, he's also that, a lover of badminton. He will also yeah. be there. I think that's something. He's not just saying it. I want to support other mm. sports. He's doing it. He's there for all of them and all that. So talked about the Taekwondo issue and all that. I even had to say, look, Less, you know, he, it's just everywhere. It's on ground, and that's the kind of minister we all, mm. you know, wanted. And hopefully, it will continue that way. Pictures yeah. from the under 16, 17, and under 19 badminton championship in Abuja. Talent, guys! I saw talents at this competition, <laughs> and I was wowed. <laughs> wowed! Like, yeah. what are we doing? You know, I spoke to the fencing president. He said, "You can win forty-two medals." At the Olympics from fencing. fencing. Yes. And we don't want to. Yeah. From yeah. that 42. Yeah. It, 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 it all boils down to, you know, to <laughs> development. It boils down to our sports policy. It boils down to, uh, to the strategies that have been put in place That's to right. actually, you know, achieve our aims and objectives. Hmm. And, um, Backstage, uh, Alibaba was telling us how he used to run. That's right. Sub I did a good job at school. In high school, yes. in high school, mm. but now he's a comedian. That was that's because there was really no you know structure for him to actually go on and you and know. And maybe someone was directed telling work. him that was, was you will make it, money it, out of this. Nobody will know you. Incredible. Oh, you you a long jumper. Look, it's funny <laughs> so, because when we say, <laughs> for instance, funny. that tennis, long tennis is a small sport here. Serena Williams will give oh, you a yeah. good laugh. Yeah. <laughs> Novak Djokovic exactly. will exactly. just look at you and walk away. Like, what are you talking about? So it's, it depends on whose hands it is. Exactly. And that, going back That's to the scary. minister, Austin, definitely shown a lot of interest in other sports. But then time will tell if he can actually walk the walk, That's right. you know, starting from 2016. Let's let, right. let him go to work and let's see what he has in store for Nigerian sports. Okay. We're well, talking about grassroots sport development, we body. Oyebodi Olushe joins mm -hmm. us now. He's a grassroots sports advocate. That's and of right. course, he's not just focusing on football alone. He wants other sports to actually be at par with uh, football. Because at the end of the day, you just have football right up there, followed by basketball, then athletics. But when you talk about tennis, badminton and all that, it's, like hmm. it's going down, down, down. But for him, if it's all other sports, can definitely be the same.